Uh, Jürgen, the win obviously puts you five points clear of third place in the group, so really strong position to wrap up qualification early. Was the other game a draw? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know. So one was it, lose. Yeah. So it was one on nil. One nil to lose. Yeah. How is it then five points clear from what? So you, you, you what? You're clear. five points clear of Union, who are third. Oh, of Union. Yeah, uh, to lose one. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So top two go through, obviously. <laughs> anyway, it's probably not a vintage performance in terms of what we've seen in Europe before, but again, you showed that ability to get the job done. I just wonder what you liked about what you saw tonight. The style and the result, um, and the goals, the chances we created. What I didn't like was that we lost rhythm after 25 minutes. I don't know exactly, I didn't look at the, on the watch. Um, it's very difficult to keep the rhythm in a game like this, but it's it's as important, uh, as very important. And um, yeah, it's clear we should have scored before. Um, we should have been 2 0 up when we scored a goal. Scored late, that's fine. Made it a vintage, whatever you want to call it, uh, mature, um, professional performance. Got the result uh, we wanted, and know we can do better. But on top of that, a lot of good individual things I saw, good performances, Trent back, um, Kwanzaa first, international game, really good. Costi much improved, Ibu long, 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 really good. So we could share with our, pro our situation now because for Sunday we have only for of our fantastic five, only three players left for the front line, so we, we, we should share. So Plenty of positives, um, but yes, yeah, it, it could have been better as well. So, um, and it, it, we, we should better play better um, and use our chances more often if we want to um, be successful in a competition. That's clear. But I'm not angry or concerned or whatever. It's just how it is for today. It was it was like that, and we know we we have to do better. That's it. Another positive was obviously Ryan Gravenberg's first yeah. Liverpool goal as well, but there were more promising signs than just oh, that yeah. goal as well. Yeah. So he seems to be getting up to speed pretty quick. What are you seeing from him? Yeah, exactly that. Um, I think it's really obvious how good he is, what a, what a talent he is. He's enjoying the situation, enjoying himself. That's very important. Get step by step all the confidence back. Um, that's really cool to see. He's in the middle of the group fits really well to the age group of, of, of the majority of the squad. So that's that's really that's good. That's only that's only positive. We we thought he might be able to play ninety, we want to give him ninety, but then we saw now it, it dropped a little bit and didn't want to go there any risk, so that's why we brought in Dom um for a few minutes. Um, no but good. Very good. goes everything goes in the right direction. That's really helpful. Next one, anyone? There's a microphone. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can just on Diogo after the week he's had. Were you pleased to see him get get get, get the goal and also just the, the whole? Yeah. How have you? How has he dealt with it and the situation? Very good. How should he deal with it? Um, so I, I I knew that will it be it will be difficult when I yesterday spoke about this, uh, the 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 other game. I knew. And you proved me again. Everybody, uh, just how it, how the world is. Um, I think everybody was here, heard what I said, but everybody, everybody understood. what obviously something else. <laughs> it's okay. But if I if I made the impression yesterday that I was still in the game against Tottenham, I was not at all. That's long ago. We are over that. That's fine. And that's how that Yoga is that as well. And Joel could have played tonight because he's over it as well. So that's all fine. We are. Not no children or whatever. Um, we just had a had a few questions to answer and did that, and that's it. And from um, from a focus point of view, um, it was not a problem to focus on the game. I would say in the game it was a problem to keep to keep being focused because that's how it looked a little bit. We, I, 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 we got a bit sluggish and stuff like this. I didn't like that too much, but that has obviously neither with Diogo or, or nor with the team anything to do with the last game or the last week. It's just because that's a challenge in football anyway. Chris. Uh, just on uh, Endo Jürgen, was that a plan to take him yeah. off after 45? He didn't yeah, have an injury. Three, all three swaps were planned. If he could do it, 
that was the idea. If we can do it and nobody else has problems, then we'll these three boys go off. Um, Jürgen, on Jarrell Kwanzaa, as you say, had a fantastic game today, but I really enjoyed his battle with Rodriguez after he came on, how physical he was. How important is it that that's a trait that he's already got at such a young age to be able to really bat battle against quick, physical centre forwards? Yeah, that's part of development. That's uh, if, you, if you are not ready for them, then it's difficult to play, <laughs> to be honest, in adult football. But I, I was not in doubt about that, that he is ready for that. It was. And it's all up because of him. It was not a difficult decision for us to to line him up tonight. Still young. We have a really good football team together. Means he will get minutes and he will play U twenty ones as well. Stuff like this. So, but it's nice to see. It's a joy to watch his development since now. He, since he's properly with us, he's a really good footballer on the ball. He's outstanding and. The, the chance of Mo in the first half, he would have got the assist. It was a, it was top defending, really quick thinking, stepping into it. Um, so yeah, probably he feels rather good, I would say tonight, rightly so. Dave, for this for this one, I'll Brighton. Yeah, go on. But you're gonna, I think one of the the most impressive things is that you've been able to completely changed the side in, in midweek and you're not really seeing sort of a drop off. And I, I guess that's like, must be a real encouragement for I, you. I wouldn't say you didn't see a drop. It's not because of different formations. It's just a game. It's not a steady development in the right direction. But that was now at Tottenham. It was not perfect as well. So it was just tough. With 10 men, with 9 men, it's obviously not easy and you cannot really compare it with other games. But no, I'm, I'm, I said it before. I'm, so, but always when we speak about these kind of things, a week later we, have, we miss five players. So this time we, we spoke so many times, everybody told me uh, five strikers um, plus a talent, stuff like this, fantastic. So for the weekend we have three and one is out for a while and the other one, okay, is then back again. But that's, that's how it is. So that's, that's what we need to have. How can we now stand here with not having an injury crisis, what we don't have in the moment? Hopefully it stays like that. Um, and not changing a team. We, we need a specific amount of players for four competitions, that's what we have. Um, and I'm really happy with that, absolutely. Um, but we changed, I think, nine times tonight. So it would have been 10 if Kweef could have played. It would have been 10. Um, but um, yeah, good, important, um, necessary because we play in four competitions. Hey, thank you so much for checking out the content today. If you want to get your name in and amongst these wonderful people, uh, then head to redmenplus.com. Join as a legend tier subscriber. You're going to get free merchandise, merchandise codes. You're going to get in our Discord and you're going to get your name at the end of YouTube videos. Yes, redmenplus.com, legend tier status.